What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this poster right here. This can also be turned into a t-shirt. I don't know if I did. Yeah, you could do something like this as a t-shirt. So this is pretty much the same design. You could even see I decided to switch some things up here for the text. So I'll just be doing an explainer video today, kind of showing you guys how I created this specific design and kind of go through the explanation behind it. So there's only a few elements to this design. It's nothing crazy. Uh, the first thing is we have the, the uh, I guess you could say mascot or image of a wildcat. All right. I, I don't know what kind of cat you'd call this, a lynx, a mountain lion. I don't know what you would call this. Um, but let's just call it a cat for this video. Uh, what I did was I made the background transparent. Um, and the way I do that is I have an app called Luminar Neo. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for the cheapest place you can get it. There's a few different places that actually are quote unquote dealers for this app and they can actually sell this app um, and they sell it for a little pricey. So I'll leave a link in the description where you can get this. But as it's opening, essentially what you could do is uh, what I like to do is I like to black out the the image from the back, okay, if that makes sense. So this is actually the image. This is not how it used to look. It used to look a little bit different where it was a lighter color in the front. But what I like to do is I like to go over here and hit edit. And sometimes I'll either go straight into develop or I'll do a brush on it. And I'll put the smart contrast up all the way. This will actually brighten certain things and darken certain things. Um, so if something's already naturally dark, it will make it darker. And something's bright, it's going to make it brighter. So once I turn this up, it will switch the contrast of the image. You can see how it changed the image. Now, obviously, I don't want that. doesn't matter. I already downloaded it. Once I did that, I kind of do that for the purpose that I can remove that background behind the scenes. Um... And this image, by the way, along with the many other images, will be in our next run on Fantasy Labs. So if you guys are not familiar, fantasylabs.com, that's spelled fantasy and then lab and with a Z, so labs.com, is a website where uh, I upload all the different graphics that I'll be using. We have already over 460 graphics on there. It's not going to include just graphics. It's going to have fonts. It's going to have... Um, image, just all kinds of different stuff, patterns, you name it. And uh, the cool thing about it <clears throat> is um, everything that I use, you're going to have access to. So if you like different art that I do, all these kind of things, you guys are going to get access to it. And more importantly, we're also going to be adding different training in there. And the training is going to be stuff like this, where I kind of show you in depth how to do certain things. And that's all going to be dropping uh, the 28th. So every 28th is a new drop. Last month's drop, I believe, was the 28th. This month's is going to be the 28th, and so on. And every 28th, uh, a new set of images, basically content. You could put it up that way. Assets will be dropped along with training videos on how to you know, edit stuff, how to make things better, and how to really customize it to your own. Now, uh, Fantasy Labs, obviously, is not a promo for Fantasy Labs. We already done the promo videos, but you can... Literally just take the image and slap it on your shirt if you want to that way and sell it. I really don't care. Uh, these are just images that I'm personally using. Obviously, I'm limiting it to a certain amount of people who can access it, and that number is 50 people. And um, we haven't reached that or anywhere near that yet. So, uh, you know, as long as we haven't reached that, I'll leave that open for access. But regardless, an image like this, you can grab it at Fantasy Labs, and um, you could do the same thing. And what I did here was I had a vibe here where... I didn't really know. I like to mix my text and uh, images together. And so I didn't really know what to write here. So I thought, okay, we can include the word killer instinct. And um, here I have text. You could see this is like a regular font, but it is it has like the print of money in the font. Like you could see here the $100 bills. Um, I thought that was a really, really cool addition to the image. And the reason why is because it matches with the text, right? So Killer Instinct, when you see Killer Instinct, you're first probably thinking like of something animal related, kind of like this. But uh, when I put that money in the actual text, 
then it looks more uh, money related, more business related, right? Like you got to have that killer instinct in business. That was just kind of my mindset. And then what I did to do this or to accomplish this was I used the content in the Blend Designs mini course. So essentially what this includes is if you have an image, kind of like that $100 bills image, and then you have the text, you can blend them together to make them look like this. It's a mini course that takes like two seconds to go through or two minutes to go through. And uh, I'll leave it on my website if you guys want to access it and be able to do this. Um, I do the same thing with gradients. Like I, this is a, a regular image, right? And then I put the gradient on top of it, if that makes sense. And I make it look that way. Super, super simple. I don't use Adobe Photoshop. I don't use uh, any of these complicated applications. I use the easiest ways to get this stuff done. And that's how I do it. All right. So those are three elements. Then what I did, since this text is not actually a font, it's just an image. I went over to the edit and I put a glow around it, but a dark glow. So the reason why I did that is just so it can look more visible amongst the background. And the background has a light grunge to it with a paint splatter. So the paint splatter is an image that looks like this. And I'll just kind of show you like that. But what I did was I increased the size and then I changed the opacity. So I made it a little bit more transparent. I sent it all the way to the back, kind of like that. And uh, now that I'm actually looking at this, I think I actually like it more when it's not blended. I think it looks actually a little more crazy when it just looks straight up like this. So it's super simple. I added my logo to the bottom. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm always trying to level up, trying to make better designs, and trying to get better at doing art. So what I'm going to be creating is something in the future called uh, POD University. And uh, basically, it's going to be a design academy around learning how to design like really, really good. And the things that I learn, the advanced tactics, is what I'll be sharing in there uh, to be able to create some cool stuff. Um, this is an advanced design, I would say, but it doesn't take an advanced amount of time to produce. There's only like four or five elements in this whole entire design. You know, you have one, two, three, four, and uh, the logo is five. So it's really not that much. Uh, but each element has its own... I guess you can say edits to it, its own customizations, things that make it a little bit different. So I think that's why it's pretty cool to me. And uh, this is something, I don't know, I think I might buy this this poster and put it up in my own uh, house here. So we'll see. We'll see how it's going to go down. But uh, I'm still learning, still creating better art and uh, frequently getting into it. You could see here, uh, this also this poster is a little bit different. Uh, this has multiple elements in it. So like this cross is a different element. This background, different element. This soldier is a different element. Here, this is an element where I was able to fit the um, the text. I took the text, split it in half, put it in front. You know, there's a lot of things I'm doing. So I'll, I'll go into this in the future. I think this is cool, like on a t-shirt or even a poster uh, on the back of a hoodie or the front of a hoodie, even though who knows. Um, but I think I'm actually going to be starting to hit up some of these um, YouTubers for me to do some designs for them uh, for their clothing just so I could show you guys what you could do for these people. So it's a it's a pretty cool idea, you know, create some cool art like this. Uh, for sure, you guys can do the same thing. And that's probably why I'm going to create uh, something called POD University, which which will be coming soon for sure. I want to share how I actually do some advanced editing tips. But, um, yeah, that's all I got to say for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you get something out of it. And, um, maybe if you guys see videos like this, you can essentially cut time in half, you know what I'm saying? Or in a quarter because, um, you can speed things up. You know, sometimes all I need to see is other people's work to get inspired, to be informed and go out and create my own stuff. All right. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace out. Bye.